Oh, all right. Noted. Uh, so, yeah, I just had a question because I, I tried to call about this last week, but you were uh, mired in a debate with a Norwegian libertarian. So oh, I, did, I did not get through. All uh, the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, it was about John Bolton, and um, you were talking with. Uh, I think, I think uh, her middle name is or something like that, yep. um, about, you know, the, the prospects of, uh, of, you know, what could happen. And I, I was just thinking, what if, what if they, what if a war breaks out before the midterms? Like what, I mean, uh, that I, seems like I'll, the I'll time to do it. If there was going to be a wag look, the dog. I, I think September and October of this year are uh, scare the hell out of me. For that exact yeah, reason. Because it seems like because if they look, were going to do that, look at the timing. that would be the time. Uh, Bolton has said he is in favor of a sit down with uh, North Korea so that you can prove that the talks don't work. Um, I, I think that September and October are uh, months where if I had to bet on if someone would say to me there is a 50 percent likelihood of some type of aggressive action on our part towards North Korea or Iran. And I would say then I would put the chances of that happening in September and October at like 90 percent. I don't know that there's a 50 percent chance. I don't know that. Don't 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 mistake what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I think there's a 90 percent chance that we're going to launch some type of attack in September, October. I'm just saying that's when it would likely happen. And um, sure. and I, I don't put it past these people for one second, one second at all. And I think the, my guess is I think that the chances of there being an attack that we are launching an attack um, this year, probably I would put at like, I don't know, 25 to 35 percent. And I'm just pulling that on my ass. It could be higher. All right, well, if that happens, how do you think that would affect the midterms? I mean, the media doesn't seem equipped to get it right uh, at all. Um, I, even when he bombed Syria last year, they went along. You know, I mean, yes, this, this, this I resistance, think, quote unquote, doesn't seem ready to spring into action if something like that happens. I think it'll be a function of what the 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 premise is. Um, it could be it could be something that backfires on Trump. I don't know. I I, I mean, it could be mm -hmm. like look. Um, there seems to be, at least within the establishment media, a fairly good sense that attacking North Korea would be a horrible, horrible mistake. You know, I haven't heard any, you know, establishment media figures like say this is a good idea. Um, <laughs> and, you know, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm worried about it. I mean, that you know, I think when we the bombing that on starts, Friday. the the you know, bellic what it, I'm forgetting the word, but the the nationalism bellicosity, bellicosity the nationalism kicks in. Thank you. So I mean, but it doesn't seem yeah. even with Iran, even even there even seems there's to be no a predicate. Wearing, yeah, there's no predicate. I mean, there's nothing. There's no predicate. Well, late. they're like, trying there to draw been, a parallel with the Syria thing that happened in 2007 in Israel. That's the thing you're going to see. Because that operation was successful and it didn't lead to a wider war. So watch for that talking. Yes. Point. And, and you know, the, the Syrian thing, there was already a fairly big constituency in this country that said we should get involved in Syria. Like that had been an ongoing debate for years. Saying I, the strike in 2007, which wasn't no, publicly known. No, but I'm talking known. about in terms of like what is, what is, what is, uh, what is in, you know, in terms of the media, you know. I don't know who they call to be like, yeah, we just have to trust the uh, Trump administration to do the right thing with the bombing North Korea. Like, I don't know who they call for that. I did know who they would call for that when it came to Syria. But 